everybody, Christina Careless here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create a GIMP brush for logos or watermarks. This way you can watermark or put a logo on all of your photos so no one can steal them and take credit for them or whatever, or just as a snazzy little addition to any edit. Okay, so as you can tell, I already have one here, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one for you guys today. And I'm going to use a 500 by 500. You can use anything else you want. I'm going to use that. And I'm actually going to put that as white. Okay, so first I'm going to make a couple layers. And I'm going to select a brush that I want to use as the little accent. And I think I'm going to use a butterfly. So now I'm going to rotate the butterfly because I don't want it straight up and down. Move it down so that none of it is cut off. And now I'm going to throw my editing and photography site's name on there. I'm going to center that so it'll be over top of it. And we're going to select a different font. That looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to create the rest of the name. Okay, now I need to find a font that has the little and sign. Okay, and I'm going to center it out. So now I'm going to merge my fonts together. And I'm actually going to invert their colors, which you can't see it with the background. But that's okay because we're going to delete the background anyway. And then I'm going to alpha to selection grow. We'll grow it by three and bucket fill behind it with black. We're going to give it a shadow. So we're going to blur that to give it a little shadow. Okay, so I'm going to invert the butterfly as well. And I guess I'll need one more layer. I'm going to put this blue and do the exact same thing. Okay. So now I'm going to give it some color. I'm going to give the butterfly some color, I should say. So I'm going to go ahead and make it pink and blue. And I'm going to green merge. And we're 
going to go ahead and do the color for the white of the font as well. Okay, so now I'm going to merge all the layers down. And delete the background. And now I'm going to export. And I'm going to go to GIMP and then brushes. And you can se uh, select the GIMP brush down here. Or if you already know, it's a GBR. And I'm going to title it. And then I'm going to name it, and I'm going to keep the spacing as is. And then hit export, and it'll save it for me. And what I also like to do is I like to save it as an XCF file, which if you come down here and find the XCF, Oh, well, I can't find it. But anyway, um, that just means that I can go back and edit it if I need to. Like if I need to uh, brighten the colors or sharpen it or anything, I can do that later. I'm just going to save it under pictures though. And, oh, well, <laughs> okay, scratch that last part. I forgot that you go to save as for an XCF file. And then I'm just going to go to my pictures and save it as that. Okay, so that is how you create a quick logo for uh, your website or your edits or if you want to watermark your pictures or whatever. This is a quick and easy way to do it with GIMP. Alright, thank you for watching.